Hello, and welcome back to another Binding of Isaac normal run. Last time we beat the Seven Years Bad Luck challenge. This time we'll do the Meat Forever challenge. Just because I like Meat Boy, he's really powerful. Makes things a lot easier. Also, spoiler again, this is post commentated. I had to record a few of these runs just for the sake of making content, but uh. I couldn't record commentary because my girlfriend sleeps right behind where I sit. We'll fix that arrangement at some point. Hopefully I can make my own recording space. So yeah, basically this challenge is just you getting escorted by Meat Boy. You don't really need much of anything else. And a lot of you, or at least maybe one person, has been commenting over and over asking why haven't I been shooting all the poops and fires and stuff, and I made kind of a conscious effort to do that a bit more. Now, it was probably a, well, it was a huge stupid mistake to take that eternal heart, because... I just lost it there. I could have very easily just gone out and grabbed it again. But whatever. It's really unlikely to find an eternal heart, so anytime I lose one, I'm not too unhappy with it. Wasn't too interested in getting that ladder. been taking a bunch of silly risks actually when I'm when I've been doing these challenges a lot of the time they seem to be paying off for me as well those wall hacking spiders man oh and uh, interesting fact about meat boy or specifically this game's meat boy um, the max number of Meat Boys you can possibly have in a legitimate run without using Cheat Engine like crazy um, is six. I'll cover that later. I figured we should just take the tick just because I don't usually take it and I don't have the Polaroid unlocked and even more than that, I don't have the Cathedral unlocked, so... Probably not that likely that I'm gonna be running on all spirit hearts in this run. And even if I wanted to take the Polaroid, I don't have it. So the tick has a pretty decent effect of taking away 15% of a boss's health and healing you for one full red heart when you walk into the boss room. So I figured we're pretty safe to just go ahead and do this. And of course I'm gonna take Squeezy anytime I see it. One thing I like about Meat Boy is that um, his hitbox can overlap with anything. Well, it has to overlap with whatever he's attacking, so if he's attacking something like Larry Jr., he's overlapping with more than one hitbox at a time. So, therefore, he's doing double damage if he's only hitting two segments. He's doing triple if he's doing three, and so on. And the Duke of Flies. Assuming Meat Boy gets a hold of the Duke himself and doesn't get distracted by all these flies, he'll usually be standing in the flies' hitboxes as they come out, so he'll just be tearing through absolutely everything. And we gotta deal with the devil for not taking any red heart damage during the boss fight.
and I decided we don't need all this health that we've got. So let's do something a little crazy here. Man, I gave myself a lot of time to talk about that. And for taking two devil deals in one run, we've unlocked Eve. And her bird, and her curse. And now I'm just trying to roll for some flies to see if I can get a couple more boss items. Maybe recoup some of my lost health. Yeah, no such luck. I would have figured that the super secret room would be right there to the left of the secret one since the regular secret room is supposed to be touching three rooms, but for some reason it's actually over here. Or not, I was wrong, I don't remember how this works. Whatever. Down to the next floor. That dead cat. Of course we're gonna take that. We've already only got one heart. Destroying the poops with the neutral flies and just leaving the room and coming back in is usually the easiest way to deal with those rooms. And I still hate this room. It's nonsense. Here I'm just like, well, if we're going to spend money on something, it's going to be bombs. That way we can kill ourselves. Because if I could help it, I wouldn't want this meat boy to be lonely. Always indecisive about what tarot cards or playing cards I want to stick with. I'm not going to spend a bomb to get one bomb. So now all of a sudden we've got potential for an entire new Meat Boy. If we don't screw up the boss fight too terribly. And if it's a horseman. Which, I, if I remember correctly, it isn't. But I think it's something better. Oh yes, that's a lot better. 
Suddenly, we're gonna walk out of this floor with a lot of devil items. This is the run, actually, that I found out that the charge on the Little Fallens does a full heart of damage. It's actually very much not fun to deal with when you only have one heart. So this actually winds up being quite a bit of failure, followed by luckily very good items. I wish I had a lot more speed so I could deal with these charges more easily. And the pretty fly goes and puts in some work for me. Got a much needed damage up for ourselves. debating whether or not to actually take brimstone because I'm not super well practiced with it. But I'm pretty glad I took it because with the damage upgrades that we've got and just the fact that it's brimstone, it does a pretty decent amount of damage for me. I think one of these items that have been picked up has been a uh, speed up. Yeah, I'm well done with that floor. That was a huge payoff for us. I love these shooting gallery rooms, and the game just wants to keep giving them to me, and I'm fine with that. Always love it when when enemies can't really actually aim at me. And oh goodness, Gertie with Meat Boy and Brimstone. This is a curb stomping. Another devil room. And a tears upgrade. It's always good with brimstone. Now Guppy's tail probably would have been beneficial to take here, but since I'm already so low on health, I decided against it. And screw this, I'm skipping Necropolis 1. Yeah. No net benefit or loss there. I just didn't want to fight the bloat or something insane and have it ruin this decent run.
Emperor card on Depths 2 is always welcome. And Shovel plus Emperor card is usually the recommended solution on getting the Dark Boy, Mama's Boy, uh, Spelunker, and Basement Boy achievements. Shovel through the first floor, Emperor to the boss of the second, and then just play your best and don't get hit by the boss, which I'm not doing. Plus, I took damage from the curse room on the first floor, so I wouldn't be getting the achievement anyways. I almost got murdered by mom here. Which would have been embarrassing and probably would have led to four more deaths. Or three more deaths, whatever. Then I would have had to scrap the recording or produce a highlight reel or something. But as of now, we're looking pretty good with Brimstone, Full Meat Boy. Three health is not exactly where I want to be, but we're powerful enough that I'm not too, too worried about my health. And these rooms that it's, that the game feels necessary to keep giving us are quite simple with the setup we've got. And let's just skip it. I don't want to fight the bloat here either. Don't have the health to play him. I forgot to pay attention at the beginning of this room to see whether or not the tick took away 15% of Chubb's health there. But I think it did. So, so, so glad I still had that chariot card. It's an absolute lifesaver in that room. I don't think I would have had the maneuverability to get around and charge Brimstone more than once or twice in that room. Now I'm sort of in panic mode. I've got one heart. And we still haven't even located the boss room yet. I'm good with these chub rooms. Keep giving them to me, game. Always welcoming segmented enemies. That way I can hit them multiple times with piercing shots and meat boy. So very thankful for this arcade being here. Oh, and uh, if I haven't mentioned... I don't think I mentioned it already. This challenge ends at the Mom's Heart boss fight, like almost all of the other ones that start you with items do. But fortunately, the challenge doesn't actually end until you touch the chest. Meaning, the challenge completes when you beat the boss. However, it, uh,. You don't need to stop when you beat the boss. So I've got this shovel, and I've got some extra health, and Mom's heart's not too bad. It lives is harder, but I don't have it lives unlocked yet. I have Mom's heart, and that's a very simple fight. So I, I'm thinking, well, we'll kill the boss, but we're not going to stop. We're going to head right on down to Shoal. And I love the Meat Boy will just stand in the middle of this whole fight. Except to come out and kick my bombs. Douchebag. Meat Boy, get in there. That's 
SMB superfan has appeared in the basement. Now, touching that chest, like I said before, would end this run for me. But I've still got the shovel, so here we go. I figured we've got the potential to unlock the knife right now, so let's give it a shot. I don't exactly have the health to fight Satan, and I haven't fought him in so long that I'm very out of practice with it. But what the hell, we've got a chance. A deal with the devil room in Shoal. So, is that ironic? Coincidental? It's interesting. And sure, give me more health to trade away to the devil. Now, this is just me checking to see if I had taken two guppy items already. Had I already done that, I would have picked up the head just to become guppy and maybe have a little bit more of a chance of defeating the devil. But I didn't pick up the tail when I had the chance, so we will not be becoming a cat today. And two bombs is absolutely worth getting a chance at spirit hearts here. And unfortunately, we didn't get them. Did get a damage up, though. Not so sure how much that's needed at this point. I love the bullet spreads that come out if you kill all four or five of a group of those at once. Isaac versus Satan. Had the timing on this pretty damn solid. And it seems that we're doing a bit more damage than when we were ugh, than when we were fighting the the fallen originally. So phases well, phase one, no real problem. Phase two I'm so out of practice with though. And I'm standing entirely too close to. And now we have to one-shot this whole fight. Yeah, the rest of this goes about that well. So I'm not mad at you if you just decide to stop watching. <laughs> I don't win. Although here I do come close to getting phase 3 to spawn. And that's the first time I've ever seen a white kamikaze leech come out with the fallen. I'm not good at the timing for uh, the second phase. I feel like I could have just dodged forever and Meat Boy would have maybe handled that for me. But we completed the challenge and that was the only goal, so I'll see you next time.